There's a case. Yes. There's a case in the lady. In the lady there. The spirit of a Sangoma is broken. Amen. Is broken. Amen. She never told you about Sangoma spirit. Oh, she did. did. She said what? Um, in actual fact, it's something that I just noted myself. You that, noted? Yeah, it's particular. There, there were Sangomas. Yes, Even her was supposed to be a Sangoma. Yes, did. You could see what she's doing. The spirit of a Sangoma is broken. Amen. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her down there. Rise up. Rise up. Amen. Put your mic in your mouth. The case of being a Sangoma is broken. Amen. It's broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing curse, curse everywhere. Can you say any curse in my family? Any curse in my family. I'm the one to break it. I am the one to break you. Can you break that curse? Break it. I break you. I break you. You curse, I break you. Curse in my family, I break you. I break you, I break you, I break you, I break you, I break you. You curse of lack of finance, I break you. Where is it? I break you, 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 I break you. I break you, I break you, I break you, I break you, I break you. Jesus. Amen. Where is the lady I was speaking with? Where is it? Where are you guys? Who was the Sangoma? Mother's family and my father's family. Everyone is a Sangoma. Everyone, even my cousin now in Durban, she's still a Sangoma. So you're the one who broke that case today. Amen. Amen. These curses, they follow you because of the blood. They follow you like this until because of the blood. And then you, sometimes you find that even when you are prayerful, this case, because you have carried that blood, it just works against you. And let's pray. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Tobile Bila. I am staying in four ways at the moment, but I originally come from KZN. And can you tell us the prophecy you received from the man of God and the confirmation? Okay, the man of God, um, Daddy, said to me that there is a curse he's seeing in me, and the curse is of being a Sangoma, which is very, very true. There's a curse in the lady. In the lady there, the spirit of Esangoma is broken. Amen. It's broken. Amen. I don't remember much, but what I do remember is that when we were small, when we were five years old, we were initiated with my sister. Who was Esangoma? Huh? Mother's family and my father's family. Everyone, Everyone is Esangoma. Everyone, even my okay. cousin now in Durban, she's still a Sangoma. And that's as far as I can remember. But I know that up until I came to Charles Missionary Church, my life has been very difficult. And that's how I know that the Spirit was affecting me. But moreover, even when I am praying, I would sometimes feel the effects of it because I would hear groundings of a Sangoma. And my husband, every time he prays, each and every time that he prays in his prayer time, I would, he would hear me ground, and sometimes I would also be surprised why am I grounding, and it would still be the effect of this curse, which I believe is broken today. And uh, the man of God said that you are, you are the one to break this uh, curse in your family. Were you praying or wishing that one day this curse will be broken? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. My life has been so difficult. Many a times before I came to Christ, I would ask myself why. I'm, I'm suffering so much. Why am I going through all the things? Because the pain I would go through or the trials I would go through were unusual. Even my sisters would say, we don't go through what you go through. So after I came to Charis Missionary Church, it was, it was made easier for me to understand. And that, was, that is what has raised also my prayer life. Uh, even my husband is a very prayerful person. And I believe 
there is the other reason why I have lived a prayerful life. And I have always been asking God to deliver me, deliver me to a point where I even started praying for other people. And that is how I thank God so much for the help that he has now helped me with in my own case. And how are you feeling now that you are delivered? I'm so light, I'm so free, I'm so filled with joy, and I have so much hope for the future. I have so much hope for my life, I have so much hope um, for everything around me, and I thank God so much. Words of encouragement to the viewers all over the world? Okay, a lot of people um, are going through what I'm going through or what I was going through, and I just want to first of all call people to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is the first solution if you take him as your Lord and Savior. There is where everything comes to an end. But moreover, to be committed and rooted in one church, it helps a lot. Because that is how God has helped me also. God located me as a Charis Missionary Church member. And today I know for sure that my case is broken. What Satan will do in this kind of a case, if you've got this spirit, he makes you move around a lot. He makes you vagabond. He makes you find irritation in wherever you are. And moreover, he makes people attack you. He makes people hate you. Yes, I've gone through it. He makes people reject you. Even if people reject you, don't live where you are. And if it is a salvation church, hold on to Christ. Hold on to Christ. And that curse will be totally broken, as I believe mine is broken today. So you are the one who broke that curse today. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Amen.